What's up guys? So I got my little PWM controller. We're gonna have a bit of a play and set it up. We have a uh, 45 amp hour 8650 pack, which is in 3S, so it's 12.6 volts. We've got a little inverter, we've got a 40 watt solar panel, which isn't yet connected. So the little inverter is just connected through big alligator leads. It's quite happy running the drill and the voltage drop on that's not real, real high. When you go through the settings menu, this one here is for float voltage, that's where it stops, 12.7, which is about as high as I'm going to go with them. 10.7 is as far as it will discharge, so you can actually put a discharge load on this. So current voltage is 12.4, let's hook up, hook up the solar and see what it does. So because we're so close to our target voltage here, we're only pushing about an amp into the battery pack. So what we'll do is we'll run the uh, drill for a bit and we'll watch that go up. So I ran the drill for a few minutes and I'm still registering 12.5. Charging at 2.6 amps. Got a bit of timber, we're gonna run the drill through the timber a few times and drop some more current out of it, see what happens. See if we can get this down to like 12. All right, so I got it down a little bit, but um, yeah, there's actually probably more energy in this than I've given it credit for. That doesn't sound like much, but um, it takes a little bit to use. The inverter's got warm, but using supposedly a thousand watt drill on a 600 watt inverter, no dramas. Little controller's boosting it up. And uh, I just had the current clamp on that, it had 1.2 amps, but it's Fairly overcast. On this panel, he's a 40 water, so <laughs> 40 watts at about 18 volts, I believe. Need to give that a clean, it's a bit dirty. That'll help too. But yeah, we'll terminate some ends on this uh, inverter with some Anderson plugs, which I got come. They came with the uh, controller, which is cool. Um, hopefully you'll see the other video first of this. I charged it back up completely with the lab power supply. I'll link the video as a card somewhere. If not, you find it in the video description. Um, charged it up with the lab power supply at about two, two and a half amps. Left it for a couple of days and uh, they're all within 0.1 volt each. So, uh, nothing to complain about there. Um, so yeah, that's my little uh, pulse width modulation solar charge controller. Uh, we'll settle that up inside the, uh, inside the house next with the lead acid on it and put that on the roof. Once I've done that, we'll play around with the lead acid for a while and maybe even use that to run a uh, couple of 5 volt supplies to uh, charge my 18650s for free. I'm sick of paying for power to uh, empty these and then charge them back up again. But yeah, just thought it'd be a cool little test, and it was. And uh, I'll prove this little base works. Yeah, thanks for watching, guys. Thanks for subbing. Thanks for all the views. And uh, any input on the idea, feel free to shoot it my way. Basically this pack is going into the toolbox with that inverter connected with an Anderson plug so I can connect a few different things to the uh, to the pack itself. And then we'll have a uh, patch lead from the PWM 
uh, charge controller to a uh, little male socket lead because I'm not going to get that many amps out of that. Um, we'll run a nice long lead to that up on the roof. Might even find a little bit thicker cable. And then again, it's probably not going to voltage drop that much because that should should shoot out over 18 with no load. And uh, we had to charge it up inside, nice and safe. Uh, I'm going to buy one of those little 3S. Oh, I think they're 6S. I think they're called a cell log. Or maybe eight, cell log 8. That's what they are. And they just uh, read you the uh, individual cell. Or individual series packs. Voltages. Thanks for watching, guys. Catch you on the next one.